continuous for the return of yet another buffet here at Hollywood and Vine. Yeah, this is pretty exciting. I feel like one of the things they're doing to us, they're not telling us what's on the menu. Yeah, yeah, it's um, not on the app yet. Yeah, we don't have a menu yet, we don't have a price. So it's all gonna be kind of a mysterious happening here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I think it kind of fits the theme though, because it is a Halloween themed yeah. event. The characters are in their Halloween costumes, so it'll be kind of like mystery and spooky. I have a spooky thing on my yeah. hat. Goo has a spooky hat. They might charge us, who knows what they could charge us for this meal, like a thousand dollars or whatever. The whole thing is just kind of scary. With that being said, we're gonna go behind those vaulted doors, yeah. see what's in there, and I'll just kind of go from there. Yeah, yeah. Goo is checking in here. He's a very hungry goo. What do you think? They're, they're keeping me. They're not they letting are. me in. And they have like those metal doors there, like keeping, like a vault. They're yeah. keeping in what's in there. Uh, it's kind of a mystery. I don't know what's going on here. Do you think this pumpkin headed individual is going to be in there meeting with us? I don't know. I, I feel like that's what I'm going to be after I eat so many spooky treats here. <laughs> you can see they are taunting us further here. It says one table service credit for the Disney dining plan, but we have no Disney dining plan. Oh, oh. oh there we are. That's us. Ooh. Hey, how are you doing? All righty. Get a good picture here. All right, gentlemen, are we ready? Yep. yep. One, two, three. Thank you so much. Thank you. All righty. How are you going? Oh, I like your outfit, your costume. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I wore it for the occasion. I was thinking pretty festive here. <laughs> but. I'm not, I'm not as fancy as your costume, but yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. want to take me out with one? Thank Perfect. you so much. Thank you. Well, there you go. Look at that. We barely even sat down and we're already meeting Mickey. This is Mini. incredible. Yeah. I, I feel like I've been inserted into Hollywood. And also, like, to be festive here. Yeah. They give oh, us here's Mickey cards. himself. The oh. boss man himself. Hey, Mickey. How are you doing? Yeah. Nice <laughs> to meet you. It's here's good to meet you. It's good to see you. I like your cape. Well, that's yeah. Fun. That's so much fun. Yeah. Can we get a picture? Yeah. Oh, it sounds good. Yeah, the food. Wow. Everything just so fast paced here. This yeah. is great. We ordered our drinks. We can, we're free to roam the buffet. Mm -hmm. This is exciting. Uh, should we just go up? I, I don't yeah, know I guess we might here. as well. So I guess we'll go up, show you guys the mysteries, and we'll go from there. And I also really love these signs up here. They're, they're kind of putting us in the mood here, making us very festive, but. Uh, I think we're just going to go up to the buffet, see all the food, and go from there. We're starting off here, you have your standard bread service. You have mini pita bread, which is kind of cool. Herb bread, rolls, croutons. And then coming over here, you have your pretty standard salad bar. You have different dressings. You have balsamic, ranch, Caesar. Followed by chicken roll soup over there. Fruits, little salads here. You have cocktail sauce, shrimp. And then right here, you have potatoes, mashed potatoes, salmon. Oven roasted chicken, Brussels sprouts, potatoes. Oh, that looks interesting. You have a roasted mushroom, roasted mushroom risotto, tofu, broccolini, peas and onions here. And then you have a beef stew, white rice, roasted pork, and then you have a macaroni and cheese with shrimp and bacon. So, yeah, this looks pretty decent. Of course, you do have like a little carving station with pork belly and a guava glaze. That sounds pretty good, actually. And of course, over here, they do have the kids' station where you have baked chicken, green beans, you have like pasta down there. And then over here, you actually do have corn dog, mini corn dogs, potato barrels, chicken tenders, and like a normal mac and cheese. So it just seems like you have pretty standard options here for the kids. So if you want something simple, that's always good. And I will say over on this side, on the other carving station, they actually have an herb crusted tenderloin steak. So. Make sure you do check both sides. There may be different options. But I think at this point, I'm just gonna build my plate. I'm gonna go back to the table. We're gonna try out this food. And we'll just kind of go from there. Oh, hey. Oh, I love your collar. Pluto, that's awesome. It's good to meet you. <laughs> All right, Goo is here. He has his food. Big old plate of food here. What do you think? So, I don't know. It, it doesn't look, I, I'm, not, I'm not very, I'm very skeptical here, but mm. we're gonna try everything out. I actually tried one of the corn dog nuggets. They're exactly what they were, so uh, that's good to know. If you you can come here and eat your fifty dollars worth of corn dog nuggets, mm -hmm. which some people probably could. Yeah, a lot of things in here. I feel like a lot of picky eaters will not like. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try everything out here. We'll see how things are. I got some of the chicken. That's like a roasted chicken, I guess. Yeah. It looks good. It's fine. It's roasted chicken, so. 
if you want this kind of food, you'll be happy with it, but it just tastes like a rotisserie chicken to me. Okay. So, I got some of this beef here. We'll try this out. So it's like prime rib or? No, some... it was just beef. It was just beef on right um, There was a horseradish sauce I guess you should have gotten, but. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Your dude's gonna try his macaroni with, I think it had shrimp and bacon in it. Kind of interesting, something I haven't seen before. It's very, very strong. Yeah, with like a shrimp taste or? Like a cheese taste, it's very oh. salty. I don't know. Nothing here is really bad, but nothing here is blowing me away either. So yeah. I guess it's kind of what you think when you're going to a buffet, but it, it's nothing disappointing, so that's good. I guess, Goofy. Oh, there you go. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get a little video of you there. Yeah. That's exciting. How are you doing tonight? Oh. oh. You're hungry? Spider. Oh, spider. Oh. oh. Spooky. Yeah, you can keep the spiders up. I'm not a fan. No. <laughs> but I like your gloves. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks, Scoopy. Hey, thank you. Well, as you guys can see, Matt went up and got one of the biggest plates I've ever seen. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, you know, I just wanted to try a little bit of everything, and then I'll go back and get more of what I really like. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna like the salmon. I'm always a big fan of salmon. And I think the chicken looks pretty good. You wasn't too impressed. But we're gonna try it out here, see how it is. This is a barbecue meatball with um, pineapple, I think is what it was. So maybe we'll try that first, since Goo did not try that. It's good, it's got a little bit of sweetness from the pineapple. To be honest though, it tastes like something I would make in the crock pot at home. Um, it's not anything super special. It's not bad though. The salmon is exactly what you would expect. If you've had salmon anywhere on Disney property, 99% of it is all the same. This is no exception. It's exactly what you get on Disney property. I'm excited for this roll though. It's kind of like, listen. Oh wow. See, that's how you know it's a good bread. It's, it's a symphony of crackle. It's a symphony of crackle right yeah. there. There we go. Did you ever roll before this? I did, yeah. So they must be really good. I mean, it's a good roll. I don't know. This is very much reminding me of what Chef Mickey's used to be mm -hmm. when it was a buffet. Mm -hmm. it, it was it was nothing significant. It was more really fun with the characters, really fun environment. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, I'm gonna try some more. Hopefully I'm proven wrong here, but um, so far I'm not the biggest fan here, so. Yeah, so far it's not bad at all. It's just very, very average. Yeah. Who was up there getting food, so I don't know if he saw what happened, but it was it was very strange. So some music started happening, and then this like voice came on the announcer and started saying things, and all the cast members stopped what they were doing, and like whenever the voice said something, all the cast members in unison in a very monotone voice would repeat it. And then, and then all the characters did this little dance for like three seconds and then they all went away. So, it was kind of weird. It wasn't really dancing music either, yeah. it was kind of... Yeah, I don't know what that was about, but okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> Goo, Goo got an even bigger plate than I did. He got some yeah. chicken tenders, a meatball, one of the famous rolls. If you like, if you like Disney chicken tenders, if you like Disney corn dog nuggets, this mm -hmm. is good. Yeah. Um, all the things up there just don't interest me. They're just not my kind of food. So I don't know, when I'm reviewing this, it's gonna be hard for me because I just don't simply prefer a lot of this food. Yeah, yeah. But um, I don't, it's just not really impressive for me. So I'm just going for the classics. I, if we're if we're getting just simple food, I'm gonna eat a chicken tender with yeah. a fork here. There you go. Well, goo. you have some pork belly. What do you have to say for yourself? Um, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Actually, I think a cast member came by, mm -hmm. asked us how things were going, and I think he, made, I think he saw on my face that I, I didn't think it was anything exceptional. So mm -hmm. um, he ended up bringing me yeah, this yeah. pork belly, which mm -hmm. I actually forgot about. For some reason, they only have the pork belly on one side uh, and the steak on the other side. Okay. So it's on one of the carving stations, but it has a guava sauce. Oh. Which looks really good. I think this probably is what I'm wanting here. Something more. Um, Creative, so yeah, yeah. we'll try it out. It's a nice pork belly. Um, the guava sauce is really nice, kind of the sweetness, kind of counters it. I think he was right in bringing me this. 
because this is probably one of the most flavorful things I've seen yeah. here. So, well, so far, it, it wasn't a terrible meal. I think it was pretty good to have this place back here, but uh, we're gonna have to see. I think we're gonna go up, see how the desserts are, see how they compare to the main entrees, yeah. and we'll just kind of go from there. But overall, it was a pretty simple meal here. Um, that being said, I have not looked or known of any of the desserts up there. Um, so I think at this point we'll go look at the desserts, see how they compare to the entrees, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. All right, this is pretty nice. Up here they do have a soft serve station, so you can get either chocolate, vanilla, or twist, um, which is kind of fun. It just reminds me of the old days of the old buffets here at Disney World. But you have a seasonal bread pudding here, which looks really, really decent here. You have like different, you have a sauce on top. That looks pretty good. You have apple crisp. And then over here you have a carrot cake cupcake, and of course, this Mississippi mud pie, um, which looks pretty good. I feel like the desserts here might be the star of the meal here. So um, also you do have this candy magic bar, which looks pretty good. A peanut butter and jelly tart, which looks really good as well. And uh, and creme brulee cheesecake. So yeah, we're gonna try all these. We're gonna see if we can try as much as we can. Looks like Matt got some here. Look good? It looks good, yeah. I feel like this may be the star here. Yeah, I need to get a spoon. Well, here we go. These look really good. So I got, I think this is Mississippi mud pie. Yeah. And then uh, somebody told me that this was really good. This is a peanut butter and jelly tart. And I think this was a creme brulee cheesecake. Yeah. And we got some ice cream here. So we got some good looking things. I'm excited to try them. I feel like this is probably like the most creative from all the food here. Yeah. So yeah. I'm really hopeful for this. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, uh, that's good. Good? It's got a good flavor. It's not overly chocolatey. And it's really moist, which I like. And then you got a little bit of, um, Oreo cookies on top as well. That's a nice one, the Mississippi mud pie. I like that. If you like chocolate, you'll like that one a lot. The creme brulee cheesecake is actually really good too. It's just a cheesecake, but it has a little bit of a burn on the top, which gives it another component that you don't normally get from cheesecake. Um, I think it goes really well with it. I wouldn't have thought to do that, but that's really nice there. who has got a big plate here, massive pile with all kinds of things. I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to start out with the tart thing. It looks good. Mm -hmm. That PB and J thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll try it out. I think you'll like it. It would have been better, a little more chilled, mm -hmm. but that's probably nothing they can really control. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's nice, it reminds me of peanut butter and jelly. It's a good balance here. It's pretty nice. And then um, this bread pudding, it's seasonal. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna try it out. Yeah, there was no, no kind of description or anything up there, which is kind of interesting. It's like an apple. Apple, wow. It's not bad, it's a bread pudding. It's like cinnamon apple. Oh wow, um, that sounds pretty good. Kinda nice. I'm gonna try, I'll just try all these things. But everything's decent here. The cheesecake has, I like the creme brulee cheesecake. Yeah. It kinda has like a little sweetness on top. Um, the, the mud thing, it was okay, it was good. Um, but yeah, I feel like desserts are definitely the star here. Mm. That being said, I, I don't know if it's enough to make me come back here, but it's not bad. I think what it comes down to here is this is exactly what you would expect. Is this like signature dining, the best restaurant on property? No. Will I come back here just for the food over anywhere else? Probably not. But if you're here in the park, you want to get a meal and you want more or less like a lightning lane to see all of these characters without having to wait in line, I think they're delivering on exactly what you're expecting here, which is just, you get a meal, you get to sit down with your family, meet all these characters, and have a generally good time. So I think that's exactly what I expected, and that's exactly what I got. That being said, I think we'll get some more final thoughts outside, but mm -hmm. um, it's been a pretty fun meal here, for sure. Yeah. Well, there you go. That was the return of the buffet here at Hollywood and Vine. It wasn't bad, it wasn't great, it was just, Hollywood and Vine, I guess. It was just what you would expect from a character meal. I wasn't a huge fan. Yeah. Um, the character interaction was a lot of fun, though. Yeah, I feel yeah. like they kept coming. They were very attentive. They were a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Entire experience, I'd give a three, two. Okay. Or maybe even higher, because the character interactions were just a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Like I said earlier, this meal was pretty much exactly what I expected. If you're coming here for like a signature dining experience, I don't think you're gonna get what you're looking for, but if you're just coming here to be able to sit down, have a meal, sit in the air conditioning, and meet the characters without having to wait in any kind of line, I think you're gonna be fulfilled. I think you're gonna get exactly what you're looking for. Was the food great? No. But I think if you're looking for a character meal, the overall experience kind of made up for it for me. So I'm gonna give it a 3.5 overall. Yeah I, yeah, I think overall the experience was so great here. 
Um, but just compared to the food, at least for me, yeah, I was a little disappointed. Yeah, but, yeah. And also, we do rank out of five too. Three yeah. is just average, so three is exactly what we're expecting. Mm. Um, that's why our rankings are gonna be close to a three here. But, yeah, yeah. Um, not bad. Yeah, fun yeah. experience. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun here today. Yeah. Well, so we're all done with our meal, but that does not mean we are done here at Hollywood Studios, because I'm kind of in the spooky mood now that we yeah. had that meal. What do you think, Goo? I'm like stricken with shock. Yeah. It's very spooky here. Mm. I have my hat on, but I don't know. I did hear they have some new Halloween merchandise, so maybe we'll check out all that. Yeah. Kind of get more in the spooky mood here. And um, I don't know, maybe Tower of Terror. I think it's closed right now. Yeah, I was we'll, in the mood to ride Tower of Terror, but it said temporarily there. closed. We'll see what happens. Sounds good. So Goo is telling me that here in the sights and sounds, they have Star Wars and Marvel Halloween merchandise. I didn't know about that. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. You have like a little mummy of yeah. Grogu there. That's fun. It's $22. There you go. Oh, and you can put them in the candy bowl like that. Oh, so look it's at a that. candy bowl and you mm -hmm. can put them in there. It's a pretty hearty candy bowl. It's fun. $40. Oh, wow. Um, pretty big there. But you also have a sweatshirt here, which is kind of fun. It has like all the droids and it's yeah. very spooky. The yeah. Death Star is like a spooky moon on a mm -hmm. spooky night. Oh, there's a, oh, it's a pumpkin oh, that's on the fun. Star Wars. That's fun. But. Yeah, and then also you have, I guess those are like the, uh, those like the force ghosts or something. Oh. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. You have like the spooky droid. Yeah. He looks like a vampire. I guess so. R7 I don't really see FNG. It, I guess so. So like Fang, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, But that's fun. If you want a little souvenir, only $15. Oh, uh, not bad. That's cool. And oh. here's the Marvel. Yeah. You have all kinds of candy everywhere. Uh, oh, that's kind of yeah. fun. It looks like there's a yeah. thing coming out of the pocket. Mm -hmm. That's, that's pretty cool. cool. It's a sweatshirt. Oh, oh look at the hood. Oh, there's candy in the hood. Oh, that's cool. That's fun. That's really fun here. But this is a full sweatshirt, $65. Not bad. If you want to be a little cheaper and get a shirt. Oh, you it's have, got like, little ghosts. ghosts on it, yeah. And that's interesting. Wow. I don't know what that has to do with Marvel. Yeah, well. Oh, I guess he's snapping, and then all the people are turning into ghosts. I guess. I don't know. But $30 there if you, you want to celebrate that spooky occasion. Well, there you go. That's pretty much all the spooky themed merchandise, at least. Not just your normal merchandise that we've already seen. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Is there anything other spooky here we should accomplish? Well, I kind of want to go over near Tower of Terror because it has reopened. It says 90 minutes. But I don't know if it's really going to be 90 minutes because they did just reopen. I don't know. It sounds very spooky, but I guess we'll yeah. head down there. We'll see what's going on, and we'll just go from there. Yeah. Look, the spookiest thing we've seen all day. 90-minute wait time for Tower of Terror. Goo is so spooked, he's, he's running away. Look at him. He's, like, looking back at us ominously, scared of the wait time. What are you doing? Look how scared he is. I'm not waiting 90 minutes. And there you go. See? He's spooked. I'm spooked. Well, I think now that Goo has been thoroughly spooked, he's not going to be able to go on with the video any longer, so. We'll, we'll just have to end it there. Yeah, I'm yeah. kind of permanently spooked here, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we'll just end it there. Yeah, yeah. But it's been pretty great to bring you guys along, show you guys a new buffet. Um, it wasn't really anything I would run back to, but I'm glad we got to show it to you guys, show you guys a whole review here. Yeah. I think it's been pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys do hit that like button. Also, make sure you guys do comment. I, I personally have never been to Hollywood and Vine for lunch or dinner before mm -hmm. in the past. Yeah. So I'm curious what your guys' experiences are. If it looks the same, if it's different, I don't know. But yeah, we'd love to hear your guys' feedback here. Yeah, yeah. Also, make sure you guys do subscribe as well. We'd love to have each and every one of you as members of the Goo Crew, future live streams, future videos. That'd be great to have you guys. Yeah, yeah. But as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. And you're you. And we both wish a goo to each and every one of you. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you guys later. And, um, yeah, I, I guess just stay spooky. Yeah. Happy Halloween. <laughs>